And students everywhere, including mine, are gearing up for a new school year. And for them, that actually means it's time for a gadget refresh. With so many choices, sales, and new devices launching this fall, it certainly can be overwhelming for a lot of parents on where to start. So that's why we're here to help. And we turn to our Wired Wednesday Tech Live columnist, Jennifer Jolly, here today to give us the scoop. Jen, uh, my kids start school today. It is overwhelming just to get them prepared. So help us out. Where do we start? Well, I've gone hands-on with more than 300 devices to come up with some of my top picks for back-to-school gadgets this year. Whenever I'm doing this testing, I'm looking for something simple, affordable, that solves a common problem, like sleep. I know so many people whose kids are going back to school in the Bay Area today, and a new study shows that kids not getting enough sleep might hinder neurocognitive development, which impacts memory, intelligence, and even well-being. So be sure to take gadgets out of the bedrooms, use an old fashioned alarm clock or something like this VTech VHush sleep training soother. This can help create ideal sleep patterns and environments through stories, songs, a glow on the ceiling projector, multicolor nightlight and powerful Bluetooth speaker all backed by science and expertise. This is one of the things that I got for one of my best friends over in Alameda for her kids for all under the age of 13. So this has been a big, big help for them just getting ready to go back to school. Yeah, just getting back in the swing of things because, you know, over summer you've been sleeping and, you know, in and getting going to bed late. So I'm sure that's going to be helpful for a lot of parents and sleep. Yes, so important. Now we see a lot of early education gadgets and reading for reading and language. But what about science and technology? What about STEM? That's important as well. Oh, that is so important. And we're finally seeing a push into that with this early education, these gadgets and devices, science education. It's a great way to encourage both curiosity and creativity. And one of the gadgets that really stood out in all my testing was this Geo Safari Junior My First Microscope. It's a great example here of a real working scientific tool that can really open up new worlds for your kids without totally overwhelming them. This is a fully functioning microscope. It comes with eight times magnification, extra large IP, is a kid-sized focusing knob and a bright LED to illuminate all kinds of discoveries. So a great uh, first foray into science here that isn't all about, you know, grabbing that microscope and accidentally setting a bug on fire. I may or may not have done that in my childhood. I'm not, not going to confess to anything. <laughs> all right. You'll have to let me know what the answer to that is a little bit later. Just saying. All right. And we know that toddlers and kids as young as five and six are already really good at computers. I have an eight-year-old and a three-year-old and the eight-year-old is darn good Jen for sure what's the right age though to actually get them a device of their own I know during the pandemic they were kind of forced to be on computers a little earlier than expected yeah, common consensus for a PC, laptop, tablet type device is that 10 is about the right age for a starter computer. These days, that really is the number one tool for school, but it's really an affordable laptop or tablet. The keyword here, affordable. One of the picks that stood out to me this year, Lenovo's Chromebook Duet 3. It's one of the best small two-in-one Chromebooks around and a great value for the price. The 11-inch tablet comes with a detachable keyboard, a built-in stand, and a cover for all those inevitable drops and spills. Plus, it's really lightweight, ultra-portable for homework, and features solid performance. I'm talking 10-plus hour battery life and built-in virus protection. So those are a lot of the really important things to look for when you're looking for that first device. Yeah, that battery life is very important. Well, thank you so much, Jen. Always such good information. You can read Jennifer's weekly column in USA Today or visit her website, techish.com, for more information.